What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. This video is sponsored by Sell Cashier. They compare iPhone prices and give you top dollar for your used iPhone. So if you'd like to sell your iPhone, you can check out their link in the description below. So this is just a really quick how-to video, guys, on how to transfer photos and videos from your Android device to your Mac. Now, I know there's probably a lot of people out there that use Android devices, but you also may own a Mac, MacBook or even an iMac or Mac Pro or things like that, different other Macintosh computers. It's not necessarily something that's built into the Mac to be able to transfer files from your Android device. So Android has a really nifty, uh, useful, simple to use program that they have on their website. So you, if you go to android.com slash file transfer, there's an Android file transfer application there that you can actually download for free. So all you have to do is click on the link, download the DMG file, Double click that and then it'll give you a folder here to transfer over to your applications, the Android file transfer app. Go to my applications folder. Let's open it back up. All right, so once you've opened up the application, I'll give you a little instructions right here to connect your Android device to your computer. So you just use that with the micro USB cable that was included with your Android device. So once you open up the application, it'll give you this window right here. And these are actually all the folders and directories that are on the uh, your Android device. So you're probably gonna wanna look under, under DCIM and then under camera. So these are all the images and pictures that are on my actual device right now. So you can scroll through them, you can transfer them over, you click and drag them into the your desktop and it'll transfer them over. And there we go. So that's pretty much that simple, that's all you have to do. So it's a, it's a free application. Like I said, just go to android.com slash file transfer and this will allow you to transfer uh, files up to four gigabytes in size. So if you have any 4K footage on there that happens to be really long and large, that's probably the only thing I can think of that would be hard to transfer. But you can use this for transferring any type of file. It doesn't have to just be videos and photos. It could be any any kind of file. So, so that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions about this, post them down below. I read each and every comment in all of my videos, and I'll do my best to get back to you as quick as possible. I just want to give another shout-out to our sponsor, SellCashHere.com. If you guys are looking to get cash for your used iPhone, it's really easy, fast, and secure. You just go to their site, you get a quote, you ship your phone, and then you get paid. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to stay up to date with all of my content. And I will see you guys in the next video review.